Okay, we are we're winding to a close of the evening presentations, well, the afternoon and evening presentations for Chubby Mellow. The exhibitions will continue um, till the 16th, and it's probably worth reminding you again that all of this is being live streamed on chubbymellow.org slash live, on the Facebook page of Chubby Mellow. So if there's friends of yours who've not been able to t make it, let them know, tweet, whatever, so uh, you know, people don't miss out on this great opportunity. This is the second last uh, presentation tonight. We have uh, Paolo afterwards uh, presenting. That'll be the last one. And I'm delighted to welcome uh, Bruno Plas, uh, who's been the director of Alias Française uh, here in Dhaka. The Alias Française has been a long-standing partner of Chobimala, well, in fact, from way before Chobimala. When I was president of the Bangladesh Photographic Society, we did a lot of work together, uh, and certainly we've done things with Rick as well. So I'm very happy to ask Bruno Plus to introduce the other Bruno. We, we make it a point that the artists have to have the same names as the directors. Oh, thank you, uh, Shadol. So, uh, yes, uh, you make my life easy because so I'm always uh, frightened to forget the name of uh, the people. So with, uh, with Bruno, it's going to be very easy. So, uh, so I'm the director of the Alliance Francaise. So uh, we are very happy to be as associated with the Chobi Mela and, uh, and very delighted to see the, the size of the event and the quality of the work which is uh, really presented uh, here. So I'd like really to congratulate uh, this and I'm very happy that we can uh, keep this, uh, this partnership. So uh, today, so it's not about Alliance Francaise, it's uh, not only about Chobimela, it's about photography. So photography, it's the art of light maybe. So we are, I'm standing just where I should. <laughs> and, uh, it's light, but it's not only that, especially with the work of, uh, of uh, Bruno Bujelal. So Bruno is a French guy of uh, uh, Algerian origins, uh, and he's, uh, with his photography, which I, I must admit that I didn't know before, despite he's so famous, and I'm very ashamed for that, but I discovered his work thanks to uh, Chobimela uh, again. And uh, what I found is that he is really uh, digging in the identity and uh, the selected work that is presented here is very interesting on, uh, on that point. And uh, everyone is uh, made of his own history. And I think uh, Bruno, uh, Bruno's history is very interesting and uh, very particular. So I'm, uh, I'm very uh, uh, dying to uh, listen to, to, to his uh, presentation. So I won't be long because so you are not, uh, you did not come to listen to me, but to him. So I, I'm very happy to uh, present him. So he's uh, working with the Agence Vue in France, and uh, it's a real pleasure to have him uh, with us tonight. Thank you. So Bruno. Hello. Okay. Uh, good evening to everybody. Thanks to, uh, I'm the second Bruno. Uh, thanks to uh, Bruno. I really want at the beginning, as everybody, to thank all the people from uh, Chobi Mela, uh, Shahidul first, uh, and a special, special thanks to my friend uh, Munem, who, but it was quite difficult for him to convince me to, to exhibit the, the Algerian scribe books here, that never it has been exhibited. It's the first time, you know. And, and all the team of, uh, of uh, Chobi Mela, also uh, Raoul, you know, who was always there. So no, and I want to try uh, in one hour just to talk about uh, this Alger Algerian war, maybe to explain uh, that story of the scrapbook because they came at the end of the war or maybe later, you know, uh, and maybe to if I have time to talk with you about some uh, other work I've done, uh, work in progress or something I've done. Uh, so, the beginning, there is always a beginning. Uh, me, I'm um, I'm French, Algerian guy. My mother is from France. My father is from uh, Algeria. And uh, my father, he had cut everything with uh, Algeria, you know. 
And even uh, because I, I had a quite complicated life, it's quite too, it, it will take too much time to explain to you, but uh, part of my life, I lived with my parents. In first, they abandoned me. After they took me, we were um, to live in a hard suburbs around Paris. And then uh, the sec I, I was 12 years old, I went to, to, to live with my French uh, grandparents, what was quite a totally different life. And uh, till the, I was 30, I, it was late, I was uh, quite sure that uh, everything was okay. I was French, the life was... Uh, and <clears throat> it came, and in 1993, I decided to, to go to Algeria to look for my family. Uh, I just knew, you know, I've, one time I've got the document of the family and I've been able to write the name of the place where my father was supposed to, to, to his birthplace. And uh, I decided to go. I had an appointment with my father. He say, I say, um, I, I want to go to Algeria to look for the family. I need some help, you know, some information. And we had an appointment. My father did not come. And I, I call him evening and I say, what are you doing? You, you, hmm. I was waiting for you. He told me, Algeria, I tell you, it's not your story. You have to stay here. And me, we had big quarrel, and I say, no, me, I, t I tell you, that's my story, and I go there. And at the last three days before to go, you know, I was not a photographer. I have no any connection with photography. Huh? And uh, my father, uh, it was hard. And a friend said, mm, you go to Algeria, maybe you should make some photography. But I say photography, I don't care about photography. What can I do with photography? He said, mm, it can be interesting. And then uh, uh, he gave me his camera, you know, but I knew absolutely nothing. Just by chance, one month before, I never used to, 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 see, a, to see an exhibition of Salgado, the, the Brazilian photographer. And when my, father, my friend gave me his camera, he said, but you need film. I say, yes, but what kind of film do you want? You want color film, black and white film? Hmm, I say, I don't know. And I, I thought about the exhibition. I say, ah, oh, maybe the good photography must be in black and white. Give me back black and white rolls. And then um, I left for uh, Algeria without to know nothing. At the last moment, a friend, an Algerian woman, a friend of me living in French, she, sa she said, she told me, she called me, she said, I cannot leave you to go there alone because it was the, the civil war, you know, it was terrible. And uh, she said, my sister and my uh, uh, her husband, they live in the suburbs of Algiers and then you can go with them. What I did not know, it was the worst suburbs of Algiers, but that's life. And then um, I arrived one day in May 1983. They, they, they were at the airport. We went to their house and during the dinner, they say, but what are you doing here, guy? And I say, for me, it was too complicated, too painful to tell that I was in that process to look for my family. And I say, hmm, I am a photographer. They say, are you serious? I say, yes, yes. But you, they told me, you know, you cannot photograph it here. But I say, oh, don't worry. I, I used to, to, to manage that kind of situation, and, and, and I can do my my things and the next morning at the breakfast and they told me and say what is your program to do mm, i start photography so it has to part of algiers called babel Wed, and also they tried to kill me the evening i've been arrested by the secret service and uh the afternoon when i fight it with the guy i don't use to fight but sometimes and um the people on in the fight, they took the, you know, you could remove the viewfinder, you know, of the, the camera of the, my camera's friend, you know. And uh, when I came back late in the evening, I called him, I say, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, your camera, they, they, they have stolen the viewfinder, I'm so sorry. And so I can't make any, I cannot use it, no. I say, no, use it, but you don't have to frame, you just do like this, it's, it's okay, you can, you, you can go. And so uh, I started, I, I showed you a short um, part of the slideshow about the beginning in Algeria. من وحش لحباب هاجو فكاري 
وفرقهم طالع عليا كي نتفكرهم تشعل ناري وين راكم يا من وحش لحباب هاجو فكاري وفرقو طالع عليا It was the beginning of uh, my photography in, in uh, Algeria so it was so difficult you know curfew, bombs, attack, uh, checkpoint, fake checkpoint, real checkpoint it was too complicated and um, what is strange, and I, I was looking for my family, they were living, uh, I don't know where they were, you know, but they were, it was the east part of Algeria. But what it was strange is during, I spent one year in, Al in, in one week in Algiers, and it had why I did not go directly from Algiers to the place where to reach that place. But I think, no, it's because it was too painful, you know, to go directly there, to look for them, to, this experience was too painful. And I, I, even if it was so dangerous to travel at that time, I prefer to travel during, and I have a lot of uh, anecdotes, but I, I don't have time. And it took me 10 days to reach the city where my family was supposed to be. And uh, in fact, I found them, you know, and uh, I found the family, I was happy, it was more safe also. And uh, a phone call one night, one evening, it was my father. He called me. There. He said, "What? Are, where are you?" I said, "I am in city. If it's the place where I have the family." As I said, "I am in the family." And he said, "Which family?" I said, "Dad, do you have to tell you that we have family in Algeria?" I said, "Yes, yes." And I gave him. Uh, I had uh, one of uh, his sister with me, and I gave her. I gave the phone to to his sister, and it was the first time that since 40 years that it all together, you know. And so I finished the, I continued the, the journey in Algeria because on the same time, I have, I was really naive, huh? I wanted to find a family, but I wanted to discover it, Algeria. And on that time, you can forget it, you know. So after one month, I came back to France, sure that never again I will go back there, and even not thinking about photography, you know, because you, pff, what to do. Maybe I've, had, I've done uh, five roles of films or six roles of films. And then when I came back to France, my, f my friend came to get back his camera. I said, mm, and uh, may, I see your, may I see your photography? I said, but I did not process. He said, you, d you come back since one month, and you did not process your, what you have, have you done? I said, no. And then we processed them. And then, in fact, he said, mm, maybe you should meet some people. And I went to see. I didn't know all these people, you know. I went to see the people. He said, go to see the people from Liberation. And Liberation, they published a double page. And then we went to see Le Monde. Le Monde, a double page. And uh, a portfolio in another magazine. England, English, two observer. And my friend said, you know, photography, it's interesting. I said, yes, it's not bad. It, uh, and you can, you can get some money. And he said, you have to continue. But I said, to continue what? And I remember, you know, a long time ago, I was a guide in Asia, you know? That's for Bangladesh. And uh, he said, as soon, you don't have to stop. You have to do something. And you had, it's still the, it's the same situation again in Bangladesh with the Rohingya, you know? Oh, I was living in Bangkok, you know, as was... I, and, and I was, all the time I was guiding in Burma, I knew that problem. And in 1993, I decided to go to Chittagong. In, f in first, I was in Bangkok, I made a fake press card, and I called the guy from uh, Médecins du Monde, and I said, I'm a photographer, and I want to come for the, the Rohingya. They said, okay, no problem, you come. I went to Dhaka, Chittagong, Cox's Bazar, Technaf, 
to see the guy from the camp, and they were really friendly. They gave me a driver, they gave me a, a guide, a car, everything. I say, wow, the photography, it's really good. Huh? And they gave me a room and this. And uh, during two weeks, fantastic work. Everybody was so helpful, so friendly with me. And uh, two weeks, after two weeks, the director of the mission said, hmm, maybe we can talk together. He said, you know, I think we, missed an, we misunderstanding. I think we were waiting for a photographer from my, a Magnum photographer, and we thought it was you. <laughs> and you, who are you? <laughs> I said, no, I'm <laughs> I told you I'm just a photographer. I'm not from Magnum. And say, since that time, because the guy from my name, he, he just arrived, um, and the guy from my name, I don't want to say his name, is they sack me. They say, go away, you don't have to stay there. <laughs> and so photography became uh, more complicated. It was my, my experience with uh, Bangladesh. And so after the, all these things, you know, the problem was to know, do I will go again to, to Algeria? Or, and I decided to, to go again. And the second problem, if I, when I decided to go back to Algeria, will I continue to make photography? What, what it was not so sure with my experience for the first journey. And in fact, I decided, but I say, no way. I have to find some, another way. So, uh, I decided, I was one night, maybe one week, before, one week before to leave for the second journey, I was at a friend's house and his daughter, one of his daughters was playing with a toying camera she just got at the McDonald's, you know, and say, oh, maybe it's a good idea. I tried to convince his daughter, yeah, maybe you, I can borrow it to you just for three weeks. And I arrived to convince uh, her. And it is since that time, I'm, I, and I started to work with the, that toy, you know? But for me, it has, a, it has not the meaning. You know, I belong to a view agency, quite trendy for agency in photographic, and you have a lot of photographers, not a lot, but some photographers working with plastic camera, that kind of, of things, because they are looking to get the form and the style that that camera they can give. But me, it was more basic than this, you know? Because it, it was, you had so many checkpoints, the police, and they, when they check, they, they look at me and they check, they so they can see the plastic camera. They say, "Ah, don't waste my time. Go." <laughs> and uh, it was not. A, it, it was not. A, and then I start. I started to to photography like like that. You know. Also, uh, you know, a famous uh, critic in photography. I don't want to say his name. Uh, he wrote a, a strong article about my the fact. You know, to 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 photography behind window reflection interaction and that kind of things. But in fact, it's basic. I, I behind the window because I'm scared to be outside. It's no, it's <laughs> and so I I continue the work. I show you some another part. <laughs> ويا رايح شتا في الظلمة اقسم لي خاطري لا 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 انا نبغيك عينيا انا نبغيك هاد اللالي continue the work, but you know, but many people, they say about the form of my photography, you know, to be bird, to be, but even in the Algerian for the, the photographer in Algeria, we don't, we do not, they all the time told, tell me, we don't, we don't know, we don't understand all these guys, they want to work with you because you are bad photographer with your photography. What's, hap what's happening, you know? And, uh, but it has a meaning, you know, for me because the form of my photography, you know, it's connected to the fact to try to 
to make to, to make photography in Algeria during this time, you know, and it was so complicated. Uh, the fact, you know, always the that plastic camera always moving, never uh, haha, as a dancing dancer. Uh, um, it, ge it, it gives a specific form, but it has a strong meaning for me because it's talking. Even it's talking about the. It's, it's talking about my failure, you know, because it means I, haven't, I have not been able to find another way during that time to, to, to photography. I did not find a way. Maybe some other guy, they, they found it, but I did not find it. You know, it, they, it's, a strong, uh, it's, a, it's a strong idea. In, even, even in my life uh, as a photographer, you know, failure and accidents are never a far away, you know. And... Uh, and um, then I decided to, 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 to continue, and in 1997, I convinced my father to come back to Algeria. It was the, the, he did not come back in, to Algeria since 45 years, you know? And for me, it was a, as a, I was really also naive, many times I'm naive, I thought it was a gift for him, a reconciliation with his own, his family, his story, and reconciliation together. But in fact, uh, we did two, two journeys together in 1997. And uh, after this, we did not talk together, I think, during 17 years. It just going to call me three months ago. So maybe things are changing. And uh, because it was too, I, it was a big mistake, I thought. And it was also too painful for him. You know, that story, it's too painful for him, for me, for, uh, for many people. That's a series of pictures, short series of uh, the two journeys done with my father. That's my father and uh, his, his, one of his daughters. After this two journey with my father, never he decided not to never come back to Algeria. But me, I continue the, the war every, every year, twice, three journey. I, it, it depended. And then arrives the, the, the meeting with uh, Christian Kojolf, with uh, the I, have, uh, I went to VU Agency. And uh, it's the beginning, I, I say, I'm talking about this because it's the beginning of the color work, you know? Because, uh, uh, they thought, as I had Algerian passport, at that time it was impossible for foreigners to go to Algeria. I could go easily. And vu, they thought that they could earn a lot of money with me, you know? And as soon as I arrived, they found a lot of assignments. The first day, Paris Match, all these newspapers. And uh, I said, wow, it's good again. And um, the, the girl uh, charging you, making the business with the press and that kind of thing. She said, uh, but Bruno, uh, do you shoot in color? Huh? I said, yeah, it's not a problem. I, I managed. In fact, <laughs> I had to buy the, <laughs> the first roll of color. And I left for, uh, for I made the assignments. For with, uh, I made picture it about uh, was, uh, something really interesting about the youth in Algeria. And when I came back, I made the big guy, you know, from Paris Match, famous uh, magazine. He was looking at the contact sheet, said, you know, do we send you to Algeria? I said, yes. Do you know what do, did we pay you to do this? I said, no. <laughs> oh, I'm that fucking, I don't know. I cannot understand why we, <laughs> we sent you such guy as you. And it was the end of my collaboration with all these big uh, newspaper and, <laughs> and that kind of things. And so I continue. I, I, I like to continue the, the war to go step by step. And in 2003, the, I show you the beginning of the color work, maybe. 
ضربت في الكرسي يضرب في الشامبورسي وشوفر اقول شدروات كاش ما يصير برا كرسي على بالو بلي لو كان كاش ما يصير مير بورسي يوصلنا لاريت مني وثمانية شوفر شاشة نورو والكنترولر أربعة في الجيب سوا شرين نورو أكشي بين في كل مكان كين صح ما نورس مو مناش واحد رانا ملين والشعبي ما زال الكنترولر دايم يستنى والرحمة مصحاب اللي يربا والشحمة ويضربوا البنان ويضربوا غير اللحمة دخنا كيف كيف ما بين الكافي والكيف فاخير ما تيف فطرو اللي تمشي بالسيف ون راح الرجلة فيهم وران كاين ليش تدي حمد يقولوها بالبيا في اليد كاين اللي يخدم طايوان وكاين اللي يجلد وكاين اللي عنده كحلا يسترجلو يتبلد وكاين 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 وهات شي بين وكاين 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 كيفاش دير وكاين 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 So in the color work I started, I made a, it was because you know all this work during years and years. I was in 1983, uh, the, the first journey has been so, uh, I was so scared, it was so, so hard that I said never again I want to, to be to Algeria. And when I decided to, to go back, it was just to visit the family, just to stay with them. And needed, I, did, I did not want to hear to talk about massacres and all that bullshit. Uh, I said, no, I just, I'm, I just stay in the family, you know? And uh, in, in the 2000s, a good friend of me, Hamida, uh, she's really important for me, she died recently, and she said, Bruno, you have to stop just to stay with your family, you have to fast what is Algeria, you have to come with me. And then since with her, I started and I made, for example, that series. You know, in Algeria, we have got big massacres in the 1997, 1998. I came back uh, five years later huh, to the place as a kind of series of we, call, we used to call uh, maybe post-traumatic landscape or that kind of things. Uh, that's the series of Bentala. The, it, it was in September 1997, a village maybe... 20 kilometers from the center of Algiers, they kill 450 persons, children, women. Well. <laughs> this time I've decided in 2003 you know the situation was more quiet in Algeria and I say maybe it's time to discover Algeria and I made nothing special you know uh, uh, during four weeks I across Africa uh, Algeria from uh, Tunisian border till Moroccan border it was quite long-term project you know with my photography is not so easy I went to see the guy from Geo could you imagine Geo walking with me and I say hey, I need money to I say okay let's go why not and then I've done the, the the project and when I I went during this journey I visited many places that 
that I didn't know. And I felt something really strong, that it was the end of that story, I think, looking for my family, my roots, bringing back my father, uh, maybe in an in, in inscription, in a certain verticality, something, you know, you belong to something. But I felt something really, I was really uncomfortable in trouble. I went to many, to see landscape that I did not know situation. I felt some proximity. And the question which came, if I don't consider the family, do I have a connection? Do I belong to the country? Do I belong to the territory? But I was too tight for, for this. And then 2000, it's the, 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 the end of the, the, third, the, the first part of the, the Algerian work. You know, I will tell you later about the scrapbooks because it's coming later, you know. And uh, so I continue the photography. I vis vu uh, trendy agency. And then uh, I decided to, you, I'm sure you, you can do things. But uh, why do you tell me this? Maybe, and, uh, and then I bought it, I don't know, 10 euro. And uh, when I thought that it was before between two journeys in, in Africa, for the next one I say, huh, maybe uh, I have to, to hear the sign, I have to try it. And you will see there are some, that's the beginning of the square. And the super height. And so it has been the, the beginning of the square. I don't know the beginning of what, but... Uh, and um, so scrapbooks, Algerian scrapbooks are coming because one day I was... Uh, we, I, I travel a lot in Africa. I was supposed just to make one, but I made a big project in Ghana with a really big photograph, Ghanaian photographer killed, called uh, Niobodai. And um, one day they say, okay, I had to do a residence in Johannesburg, you know. And I was supposed to fly from Accra, Ghana, to Johannesburg. And I don't know why with my friend I bought so three scholar notebooks. And um, I flew to Johannesburg. It's a quite big project. Uh, 30 African artists. It was so dangerous. Painter and another painter from Benin. We were together in a artist studio, and it was so dangerous that we could do nothing. And I have to say that two months before, I was in England, I was in London, and I met again the guy from uh, Autograph, you know, Mark Silly. And uh, we had a talk with Mark and said, Bruno, don't you think it's, uh, it was 2000, 2008? You don't think it's the time to make a book? I say, let me think about it, but it's, for me it's, complica it's complicated to make a book. Huh? And uh, I say, okay, I can think. And when knowing that I had to make the residence in South Africa after Ghana, also I had all my, um, the picture, a lot of picture to think about the book, and also some notebooks, because you know when I used to travel to Algeria, uh, I'm not a writer, but I, every day, 
I, I, I found that every day to write all the things that did happen to me during the day, after I felt better, and I, think, I thought if it's good for me, I should continue. And then I, I, we, I was in a Johannesburg with all this material, all these things, boring because I, I could not go out. You know, as soon you, you try to go out, the, the people they want to, I say, oh, it's a dangerous place. And uh, I saw my friend, the painter, because it was an artist studio, and the artist studio was a, 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 a painter. They, 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 they work, and I say, hmm, it seems interesting what they are doing. <laughs> and uh, I try with, uh, to take the, my, the two scholar note um, uh, book that I bought in Accra, and I start to put the picture, to write, to use the painting, never I, I use. And I, that's the place, but during one moment, it's not a clear it's not a clear concept to say okay I do scrapbooks and uh, and and even for the book you know uh, when I came back we were supposed to to finish the book because we published the book in 2009 and I was working with Stewart Smith it's a, a guy we're making the lay, layout in a, in a, it's quite famous guy you know it's a, that guy you cannot afford it except if he has your work you know and when we go to print in Italy four days, five days, every evening, every evening, you have to pay, to pay him the best restaurant of uh, Verona. That's the deal, you know? It's not a bad deal. And then uh, the last meeting, we ha I had to go many, many times to London, and the last, for the last, I think it was the end, he came to Paris in my house, and he was in my house, he saw the two scrapbooks, he said, what's this? I said, no, Stu, don't forget it. I said, mm, show me. I said, why did you not show me this before? I said, no, it's not... Uh, and so at the last, it was the last, the, it was the end, he said, oh, maybe we can make a reproduction, a kind of facsimile of 15 pages of the scrapbook at the beginning. He decided to use the, the to make the cover of the book, one of the, the cover of the scrap, the, one of the scrapbooks. And then after, uh, we published the book, but for me, the scrapbook, it was finished, you know, till uh, Munem. <laughs> since a long time he said ah scrapbook it's really... for me it's complicated and it's the first time I know. and uh, it was not uh, uh, it was not so so, so, so easy but uh, I don't know so to, too many people they went to see me with that story of uh, scrapbook in Europe to buy the, the scrapbooks I say no instead you give me one million dollar it will change my life but if not I don't sell them and all that kind and um, in fact, it's always uh, at home, but I don't use them. It's the first time with uh, <laughs> the efforts of uh, Munem. So after, I want briefly to, to talk about the, you know, in 2009, I decided to start a new work, a new series of work in, uh, in Algeria uh, with the, the help and the support, because it's always important the way you can, you can get funding, when you can get do your work, and it was we also are, always with the guy from Autograph and the people from uh, Niepce Museum, a guy called uh, Francois Cheval, you know. And then I decided uh, to, in 2009 to start uh, a new work about uh, uh, Algeria, but not to, not to take care about the family, just to, to think about my relationship, my relation with the, my connection with the country. And I've done different series of work, uh, so two, series of work uh, with the, you know, the migrants, you know, all we know the migrants, but since long time we're in Algeria, we have migrants who try to go to, to, to France, and you know, we used to call them Araga, you know, Araga in Arabic, North African, North African Arabic, it means the burner, you know, and uh, they, they try to reach Spain or Italian island by, uh, by boat, you know, and you know, the mobile, the no smartphone at that time, the mobile, it's 2009, 2010, 2011. They try to find the direction with the mobile, you know, they, are, they can uh, get Italian, Spanish network, that's the good direction. They don't have it, they don't have it, they change the direction of the boat. And on the same time, what we could imagine, but I did not think about it, they make movie of their journey, you know, and I've got some, um, with friends, uh, a big association in Algeria working for youth, especially they help a lot of people during the, the, the hard time. 
and they gave me a DVD with a, a lot of this uh, short movie, I don't know, video, short video, done. And then I decided to make, uh, it took me a lot of time, but I, I cannot explain you the process because it, it takes too much time, um, about that story of uh, uh, Araga. Oh, 
So that was the first uh, series about the migrants. And then I did uh, another uh, series called uh, uh, The Landscape of Departure. That's the place I had to my friend, uh, uh, no, he's quite famous Algerian uh, writer called Kamel Daoud. He wrote uh, Meursault Contre Enquête. And uh, I, because he's living in Iran, he asked him to, he asked him to, to show me the place where people are supposed to live for Europe. You know, for example, uh, a small beach called Madrid and that kind of things. And I've done that series, uh, but that series, uh, um, uh, it came from, uh, I don't know, from, uh, let me check. From, maybe I can go. Uh, yeah. From uh, a mistake, you know, because when I used to work all the time, I work with that plastic camera, I work with film, and you need to push the film, you know. I work with 300, 3,200 hazard, and, but it was, uh, and I pushed them six, I know it depends on the feeling, 6,000, 12,000. And I, this day, it was a February day, a winter day, so sunny with a white light. And uh, I was traveling with, with my friend uh, and another friend, another writer, with what I'm, I'm doing correspondences. And they fight it together, a big quarrel. It was really hard. And they just stop at me in the car and say, OK, go, one here, one here. And I, I met some uh, the, the, the guide from the lab. They said, ah, you have, yeah, you have serious problems with three film. You know? They are so overexposed that we can do nothing. I say, oh, what? And then I went to see my printer, and he has this famous uh, drum scan, and I said, do you think you can get something? He said, I'm not so sure. And what we have been able to get is this, you know? And so it made me, at the beginning, and, and then I, I thought, I start to thought, maybe it can be hmm, the last landscape that we can remind in your minds where you live from the, 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 the coast. It can be maybe something uh, as this, and then I decided to, to, to go back to another side of, uh, in Algeria where the people they live for Italy to repeat the same mistake. And then came the, the, the idea of the series of the uh, landscape of departure. And then I was not so, so sure. And then I, during an exhibition in a museum in France, I met a whole Algerian guy and said, mm, what's this? Why are you, are you showing this? What's this? I, do, I understand nothing, you know? And I said that I, the same thing that he was looking at me. Maybe you are Haraga. You know Haraga, I remember you. It means the, the burner. I said, why do you say that? You say, you look, look, you burn the paper. Maybe that's uh, the link, you know? And uh, after, I will finish. I have to finish soon. And um, that's the two series I did with the migrants. And then I made a, a series about Franz Fanon, you know? I don't know. I, I think many people... Uh, no, uh, Fanon. Fanon, it's uh, uh, Martinique from Caribbean, French Caribbean Highland, uh, who was a psychiatric in, uh, in Algiers, you know? And it's also he has been involved in what we use uh, the French, it's a long story, the French, they expelled him from, from Algeria because he was too close from the, the movement for independence and that kind of things. But Franz Fanon, he became one of the big leaders of what we used to call the the post-colonial post South, uh, what we used to call also Pan-Africanism, you know? And, uh, but the beginning of the series of Fanon, uh, uh, it began with uh, my wife, you know, because my wife, she's from Martinique, you know? And one day, uh, uh, she was uh, pregnant, and before the birth of her daughter, she said, before I have to go to Martinique, and I have to go to the cemetery because uh, my grandmother, 
she has any inscription with her name on the her grave, we have to do this. And we went there. It was a lot of uh, emotions. It was, ooh. And uh, after, we walked in the cemetery and we said, you know, and that's also uh, the place where Fanon is born. She looked at me and said, you know Fanon? I said, uh, I know. And I said, are you joking? You don't know? I said, I know, but I don't know very well. And she told me, as soon as you come back, you know, you have to start. It was 2007, huh? before the new series of work in Algeria. She said, you have to start the, 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 the work about uh, uh, Franz Fanon, you know. And then uh, I read all his books, you know. And then, you know, on the same time I was making, you know, I told you, the crossing Africa from north to south. In Ghana, with my friend, one day we stopped in one village. She said, do you know where we are here? I say, no, it's a small village. It's the village of Kwame Nkrumah. You know Kwame Nkrumah is the first president of Ghana. It's the first country in Africa to, has, to have got his indep its independence in 1956 or 1957. And it's also the big leader of what we call pan-Africanism, post-colonialism. And then uh, I made some picture. And then in 2009, when I started the, the new series in Algeria, uh, with, and I went to see him, he said, what are you doing now in Algeria? I said, I start a new series, maybe immigrants and Franz Fanon. I said, hmm, Franz Fanon is good for you because I have my best friend. She's uh, the, the director of the psychiatric hospital where, was Fanon, where Fanon was, you know? And say, I, uh, I've done all the series. It's more complicated than this, but it's just to, to, to show you the, the, the series. What is really interesting, Everywhere in the world, I'm, I don't use to show pictures everywhere in the world, huh? but they want to show the Fanon series except the French. You know, it's quite complicated. I was invited in November in New York. It was the first time of my life in New York. And uh, we came with all the family, as all Arabic guy. He said, you invite me, I come with everybody. And, um, and I, it's, I'm so surprised, you know, because everywhere, I know it's, it's supposed to be in Abu Dhabi. In, uh, but the French with Franz Fanon, it's quite complicated, you know? And you know, you can see that picture, it's just an anecdote, it's, but it's a strong meaning. This is the picture, it's not my picture, it's the picture of the mother of my wife, you know? And one day we, were, we had holidays, and she used to show me some picture. I said, ooh, this picture, meh. No, no, yeah. And every month when I used to see her, do you, the picture I saw the last time, do you think I can use it? I said, no, 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 no. And maybe after, I don't know, more than one year, one day she said, Bruno, you are boring with that picture. Why do you want to use that picture? I say, I'm doing a Franz Fanon série. Okay, you can take it. If it's for Franz, Franz Fanon, you can take it. So, uh, maybe it's the, that's the end. Huh? <laughs> and uh, after, maybe the just one thing, which is maybe, uh, you know, I've done... Um, also different projects, I know I'm doing movie and also with music, you know. I, uh, I've got an invitation from the Musée Museum, it's the, in Marseille, in the south of France, to make a kind of uh, something with the older film, the video and, uh, um, and the picture. And then we asked two, to, in France, uh, two famous uh, singers to, to make the, a performance on it. And he gave this, you know. Uh. And I, I show you just a short part of the the, the film. They were playing, they are playing on, on it. And
that's a film done with a you know plastic camera. You know because when my daughter for my birthday four years ago she bought me a plastic camera to do a movie and she said as you like plastic uh, I buy you. then you can make movie. Okay, and the last things, just to talk you, it's talking about, uh, you know, I have to find Algeria and uh, that's the, some extract of the the diary I'm doing with the, since uh, uh, more than seven years, you know, we are writing because it's a good, it's a writer, but he's making picture and we used to do this all the time, but it's also talking about uh, uh, <laughs> Algerian guy, how we are, and you know, the, there is a museum now in uh, Lima, l'Institut du Monde Arabe. They called me three weeks ago and they say, mm, we want to make exhibition of uh, this work, something uh, good, but in fact, my uh, <laughs> my friend disappeared. I don't know where is it, and so we, we have to give up. We say I had to call this guy of the museum. I said no, we cannot make the exhibition. <laughs> we are not ready. My friend is not there. I said, what do you say? can you say that? I, I don't know. He's not there. I don't know. <laughs> and it was the the correspondences, you know. You know, and it's always connecting to the whole story. That's my mother, you know. She became, uh, you know, she's really sick. She has Alzheimer. And my last, my, my last daughter, Nejma, she asked me, I, I want to know, mom, you know. And say, we, day, we went one day um, to, to visit her. That's the angel. Some, they know the story of angel, but it's too long to, to tell. And... Uh, that's all. I think we have to... Uh, we have run short of time, so uh, we, we'll have to keep it to short questions. I have two very short ones. One is, if you were given a good quality DSLR, what would you do? I don't know. I don't care. You know, really, I think I'm... I can think I'm, I'm not really concerned by photography. You know, that's my, I don't know, it's just, you know, just something. I was talking uh, uh, with a mister, I, I forgot his name, we made an interview, this, a long interview this afternoon, and you say, we, for the conclusion, maybe you say all the things you are doing, it's the, the, the story of uh, an outsider, maybe. He's talking about this. The second very short question, we paid you to come here? <laughs> yes. Anyone else? Any other questions? Yep. Mm, I wanted to know what's your motivation to come back to Bangladesh? What? Motivation? Yeah. It's talking about, it was not about uh, you mean to Algeria, you know? The whole the things I've done. To Mela, it's my friend, that's friendship. That's all. <laughs> yeah, life is like that, you know. You you, that, you meet people. You sometimes you have connection. No, maybe we have. I met friend there. Maybe I was supposed to make a project in Calcutta. I don't know. It's that's what is interesting. It's always moving, and uh, Munem is my friend. I'm there. That's enough. You know, I have any clear. I have any reason. In, uh, instead, that's my friend. <laughs> So, I was just curious, like when you talk about the mediums, the kind of film you use or the camera, I, I noticed a sense of separation with the medium, the tool you use and your work. Could you, you have, repeat because I'm, I'm uh, I noticed that when you talk about the camera, like when yeah, um, yeah. Shahid, uh, sir was asking about if you had a DSLR, there is a separation with you and the medium you use. Do you have do you feel that kind of separation with also the, the subjects that differ like if it's not in Algeria, like when you were working with Rohingyas? Like do you have, like do you when I, I start, started to, to the, 
Africans were to across Africa to change. You know, time later, they came this big guy. They came to see me, and they said, "Okay, we give you a camera. You make a portfolio, two camera. We, we you make a portfolio uh, for you, and uh, with nice lens." And I saw this, I said, maybe it's the way. And some friend of me, they went, you know, it's a lot of money. In fact, I sold the camera, you know. Uh, an exhibition at the Leica Gallery, uh, the last November, you know, the guy from, the guy from, uh, the people from Leica friends, they were okay, but the woman, big woman, she came from uh, the head office of Germany and said, Mr. <clears throat> are you sure that you have done all the, your picture that we are exhibiting with the Leica we gave you? I say, yes, madam, you know, it's a, uh, uh, it's, it's a. <laughs> so it's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're quite short of time, so we must have a very short minute. Please, please come back in 10 minutes. This is the last session, so uh, we've got overtime a little bit. Uh, just make sure, go out, go to the loo, whatever, but be back here within 10 minutes, unseated. <laughs>